Hello and welcome to Motor Machines channel. Oh, it's so hot out there, that's why I'm stood in this shade. But anyway, I hope you're all having a good day. I know I certainly am. I'm messing with a bike and it's about dinner time and bikes for dinner is all good for me. Today's task really is just to remove the e-brakes off the front and rear. Uh, front and rear. Um, should be straightforward from what I've read. I, I couldn't find a video on YouTube, so I'm gonna turn this into a video more than likely if it all goes straight forward. If it starts going tits up and it looks silly, I, I won't post it. Like I said anyway, it should be reasonably straightforward. A two year old could do it apparently. So I'm sure I can do it. All you will need is a seven mil spanner, four mil Allen key, and I think I'm going to need this small one to undo something under the brake lever. Right then, first job is open this up, turn your switch off, disconnect these. I lied, I've got a flathead as well. <clears throat> That's just to help prise this up. Next, Allen key, undo this. Slowly remove these. Now I've just got to chase the wire back. Actually, let's just undo this. Next, we want to remove this, get a number two Allen key, release the uh, screw, we take that out and put that somewhere safe. And now, and then slowly, um, which way does it want to go? Feels tight. It's not the easiest. Nothing never is.
and I shall do the same the other side. <clears throat> right, finally, both sides are being removed. I'm just going to put these back in. Don't forget to put the plug thing back in. And do the same for the other side. Right then, to the final stage. Just got to get this back in. Be careful, it will go. Just ease it in there. Just like that. <clears throat> That's it, just check all your wires are in there tidy. Don't forget to put the cable ties back on. Saying that, you probably only need one. I don't think you need the other one now. And there you have it, that should be the um, e-brake sensor removed now, disconnected, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to give it a quick try, hopefully it will work, if not I'll be back to the drawing board. That's it, apart from I've got to put my tools away, this is just a quick verdict. It all works fine, now you can do burnouts, you can touch the back brake when you're wheeling without it dropping too much, um, and also when you just want to steer it with the back end the engine's not going to cut out for that split millisecond and you'll be able to keep hard on the power brilliant it worked that's it catch you in the next one